Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to make the starter house if I were to design it. Now we have to keep a few things in mind making the starter house and those are keeping it as low of a budget as possible because people start with it and there's only so much money left if they start because the rest of the money goes into the starter house. Using no game passes is one of the things to keep in mind as well. And then being able to get all of your moods up without doing any changes, of course. So yes, let's start and let's design the first new starter house. So to keep it as cheap as possible, we are going to look for the necessary items. And those are the fridge, and I'm gonna go for the cheap fridge over here. Then we need a stove as well. But where is the cheap stove? There we go, that's $300. Wait, how much did we have? when we start at this. 957,000. I'm hoping, but I don't think it will be possible to stay above 945k, which means we spent 12,000 on the house. But we'll see about that. So those are the necessary items for uh, the kitchen. Then going to the bathroom, we need to go into plumbing. And I hate this shower, so I will go straight to the next one, and that's the hygienic shower. Now, I don't know if I'd actually want a rounded shower or a hygienic one, but seeing as this is almost double the price, I will go for the hygienic shower. <laughs> And that's actually all we need for the bathroom, so we'll keep it at this for now. And then of course we need a bed. And I think that's all. No, we, need, we still need something to get your moods up. Now I think I might go for the double bed. You know what? Let's uh, design a shape first. The cheapest and best option here would be to go for a modern house. Because modern houses can be made quite cheaply. Now we'll have to think about how we will do it though. So I want to stay as close as possible to where the street is because... If people learn the game, it might be easier for them to actually just go onto the street and be as close to their home as possible. Now, this is gonna be one of the most expensive parts over here. I do want some massive windows. So that's $750 down the drain. And then the front door is gonna go over here. So we are gonna have some expensive items in the house just to give it that more expensive and luxury feel to it. And then this is our entrance. And then I think I'm gonna hide the kitchen in this corner over here. So you are allowed to use game passes while building a starter house, but you have to keep it as little as possible, obviously. Okay, so I got my basic shape down. This is going to be the main room. Then we have the hallway over here with the bathroom in the back. And then of course, this is going to be the bedroom. We still have 9K left above my goal of 12K for the house. So we might be able to buy something fancy. Now, first let's start with the most expensive stuff or the things that we actually need to call this a house. That is doors, of course. So just the cheapest doors will do. And then I still don't have a bed. So I did want a double bed and we do have the space for it. It's quite expensive though. And then of course, one of the more important parts is adding a roof. So I do want a smaller roof where the windows are. I'm gonna put my placement grid on small. You don't need a game pass for this as a lot of people think you do. So this is going to be the lower part. And then we got a higher part over here. Now I don't know how I feel about this to be honest. But I think we'll learn to live with it. I pulled the wrong arrow. I think it's this one. So this seems to be about at the right height, I think. Yeah, I feel like this does look a lot better already. This is like more of a house now. And I'm going back to the inside of the house. We still have 7.7k left. Well, more or less. I didn't actually check what it said behind the... Uh, dot. <laughs> How much is this? Okay, sleek ceiling light. This one is $90. It is quite expensive, but I feel like it will fit the aesthetic of the house more. So we're gonna go for this. Of course, we have to paint it linen before we start copying it. Otherwise, it's just gonna be more expensive to paint. I'm gonna do the same thing in the kitchen, and then the hallway, bathroom, and a bedroom. And then flooring. So with small homes, it is important to keep the same flooring and as many rooms as possible to give it that bigger effect. I might actually go and remove this hallway that I made because maybe it doesn't have as many uses as I hoped it would be, but we'll see. It creates a little bit of a divide between the bedroom, bathroom, and then the living room. So maybe I should keep it like that. And I've actually been quite dumb here. I should have painted one of the floors first and then copy pasted it. I'm so happy we have the undo button. <laughs> yes, I think this floor will do for the house. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm just gonna bring that over to the hallway and the bedroom. Of course, we're not gonna use wooden planks in the bathroom. <laughs> 
And then for the sofa, we're just gonna use the simple sofa over here because you can do a lot of things with that. We're gonna make it face away from the door just a tiny bit. Oh no, my bills have just been paid. Okay, it wasn't too much money, so we still have 7k left to build. Well, if I go over budget, that's okay, but I wanna keep it as cheap as possible. And also, I'm sorry for not really uploading this week, but it's been so, so hectic here and I just couldn't find the courage to upload. So here we are, I'm recording again. I'm quite happy that I'm able to. Now this is $220, that's quite a lot more than a simplicity console table. Maybe if we paint this in a neutral color, it could look a lot better. So um, maybe we should just go for that one. And actually I'm gonna use my couch here and I'm gonna face it a little bit to this side because I don't want my TV sitting in front of the big window. So what I will do is I will create a little narrow gap over here, not too much because we still want to be able to open the door fully. And then my TV is gonna go on here. So we need some luxury at least so I'm gonna go for the $900 television, gonna put some plants next to it. I mean, it is a starter house, but we still want to make it look a little bit cozy at least. This luxurious plant is $400, that's gonna be quite a pain in the budget. I feel like it looks nice with the big window over here, so let's just add that. Then moving on to the kitchen, we cannot spend too much money in the kitchen because I feel like it will just be a pain to do that. So we're gonna look for some cheap counters. These are quite cheap and I'm gonna use the shaker counter with the doors that you can open so that you can actually put stuff inside it. And as you can see, I only need one counter for this part because it connects to the oven over there. And I'm just gonna add two more counters. And yes, I know you need advanced placing to add your counters in the corner nicely. But as I said, you are allowed to use some advanced placing, but just not too much. So I'm gonna use it for my kitchen here. And then I do want a sink in the kitchen. I know it's weird, isn't it? But this one is $300. This one is $160. I'm just gonna put it in the corner. And then of course, we still have the bathroom to take care of. The cheapest toilet will do because you don't actually need that one so much. You can always shower or brush your teeth. And then for the sink, I might actually go for a little bit more of an expensive one. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I'll add one of those with a mirror on top. Yeah, that would be nice. And as you can see, we still have some room left to actually add a little dining table. I don't think it actually fits here. Let me try something. Will this go through my walls? It will go through my walls. I hate how it goes through your walls like that. So then we'll move it back a little bit just so that it doesn't go through the wall. But then it looks a little bit weird over here since you got this gap. How far can we stretch this? I think this is the farthest that we can go. Will I be able to add two bar stools behind that? Maybe, just maybe it'll work. Ooh, it does work. Okay, so we have a small, small kitchen island where you can sit and eat and it doesn't take up too much space and it looks quite cozy actually. So we're going to go and remove this counter. I think this house looks quite cozy already. Now I'm gonna do what every house uses or starter house uses and I'm gonna go and use a path towards the house. <laughs> And I think now for me personally comes the hardest part. I always have such trouble painting a house, so I will try my best and make it look at least decent, but just know that I always struggle painting houses. <laughs> So I was thinking, what if I go for an eco roof? Like people who just start the game, will they know how to recolor it to paint it into normal grass when an update comes? And also the fact that you have to like, every time an update drops and the grass changes, you have to change that as well before updating. So it might not be as useful, but I always struggle with my roofs. I also went for that dark, color for the walls so that it looks a little bit more modern with wood on the inside. I don't know why this is like a wood material, but I'm gonna make it go back to plastic. And sadly that costs some extra money. I wasn't meant to like do that. And I hate how this bar is like inside the house, but you can't really do anything about that if you have like two slabs of roof on. So on the roof, I'm just gonna use these slabs. I think that's like the best option that we can get right now. I just struggle so much with painting every time and huh, it makes me sad. And then I do want some lights outside, but of course we don't have money to like add lights everywhere. So I'm just gonna put two lights and then some a pebble path to the doorway. I think that looks quite cozy already. And then for the inside, to keep it cheap, I'm just gonna give everything a white or a warmer white, maybe. I feel like the light stone gray is a bit of a warmer white. So I'm just gonna give every wall a basic white prime, if, if that makes sense. <laughs> 
And now of course we have the doors which we have to paint. And now we just have to think about how we will finish up this house. So in the kitchen I like to use these stones. And like modern houses, but do we have smaller ones than this? I don't think we do. But I feel like that adds a little bit of that 70s vibe and I kind of like that. And then here, this is gonna be another accent wall. And it's been a while since I used this futuristic pattern. If you do it in orange, it makes it look quite 70s. Wait, let me find the right orange though. Like this, it makes it look quite 70s. If you do it in blue, I feel like it looks a lot more modern already. So let's do a blue for this house, just to add some character. As you can see, if it's all white, it doesn't have much character, but if you add some materials to the house, then I feel like it adds some character to, to your house. So that's quite fun. Now, don't overdo it. I feel like this is already a little bit too much, but we'll see in the end. And then over here as well in the bedroom, I think I'm gonna use the same material, just make it a little bit darker. Maybe I should use the the same color though. And the bathroom, for my part, can actually stay white. Same with the hallway. That's just like a passage room so you don't have to do much in there. And then of course gonna use my favorite tiles in the bathroom. In the blue color that we already used on the walls. Then a couch, I'm gonna do it in oyster. Gonna give it the leather material because I feel like it adds some depth to it. The pillows themselves are gonna be like a darker shade of blue to fit that electric color for the house. I wish you could change the materials on the pillows though. And then of course we have the dark stone gray team throughout. Same with this, I think I'm gonna go for like a metal base with some warmer color like oyster as well. And then the plant pot is gonna go into a bluish color even though that doesn't really match with the plant. So I might actually go for dark stone gray. As you can see, it looks a lot better with that. And I'm not gonna change the material on the plant because we already spent so much money on that. The carpet I'm gonna leave as is now, but we'll see in the end if we change it. Gonna use oyster for the legs of the chairs and then a bluish color for the seating. And I don't actually know if I want a material on the seats or not. Yeah, I'm actually gonna put leather on the seats because it makes it look a little bit more expensive. And then the kitchen counters. We don't want to spend too much money on the kitchen counters, but it does have to look at least a little bit decent. So I have decided to go for golden knobs and then dark stone gray on the doors of it. And then of course, some marble on the kitchen counter. As you can see, it is $55 per kitchen counter, which is quite expensive. Luckily, we only have three of them. Now, there's not much you can do with the cheap oven and the cheap fridge. So I feel like we're just gonna have to like paint it in a color that matches it just a little bit more. And yes, I know we only have those windows so far in the house, but I'll see if, if there's still budget left for windows in the end. And then in the hallway, since this is kind of a lost space, I'm gonna put the cheapest desk so that you can always, if you want that, put a computer on there. We don't have any money left for a computer, but if you want to have one, you can always add one with like the simplicity stool or something like that. No, that's not the color I want it. I think I want it this in that wood. And then same with the bed, not gonna like spend too much money on it, but I do want to have it look a little bit nicer than it currently is. So maybe we'll keep this so that it's zero dollars, but we'll give it a lighter color. And then the pillows and like this, there, we spent $20 on the bed. Then closets, we're gonna keep it cheap. So I'm just gonna shove like a <laughs> clothing rack in here. And then we have bedside tables. I want one to have a light. I am so glad actually that we did the outside and stuff first because I was gonna start and panic if we didn't do that. So one bed light should be enough. <laughs> we don't even have light switches, oh my goodness. I'm just gonna go for the cheapest light switch. Luckily, we don't need as many. And then of course I wanted some more windows. So this window is $32 which is amazingly cheap and you can actually stack them although it does kind of look like a fish pond if you add a lot of them. This window is not wrong but it's $120 which is way over budget currently. Is this like bad if I add two of those? It, somehow if you add a lot of these squared windows they always make me think of like boats and I don't know why. This one is $245 but as you can see it does add like a lot of expensiveness to the house if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah I think I'm gonna to go for that and what else do we have we have the bathroom but the bathroom is like does it need a big window like that and then in the kitchen what if we just stacked these up so we don't really have a hood or anything and I want them to be on the side of the house 
because I want some privacy in the front, even though we have this massive, massive window over here, I'd still want some kind of privacy. So let's keep it there. And then the windows we're gonna paint like in a wider color, just to contrast a bit with the darkness of the walls. So this does look okay from the outside, but we need some plan. I think I'm gonna just be a little bit over budget, but not too much as I was in like previous videos I did. Let's sure not to use too much of like the advanced placing game pass so we're gonna leave some space in between them how much is the grass actually is it expensive oh that's really cheap it's cheaper than than that so we need to make sure to have plants that won't die immediately and then some trees as well on the side because this is quite a dead area over here we're gonna fill that up later on people can add like a garden or something to this not that it's actually going to be in the game and then to contrast with that, gonna add some rough cypress, even though that's quite the expensive tree. Just gonna add two of them. We're currently $500 over budget. And there's like one more thing that I really want to add. Wait, I don't have a window here. Oh no. Okay, this makes it look a little bit less dead. So we can remove these two trees. Yeah, we can definitely do that. So that brings my total back to 200 over budget. But then I do feel like I am going to move this cypress over here and then there's one more thing that I need or that I want and that is to add a painting to that wall over here. Now of course we're gonna have to look for the cheaper paintings. These are probably quite expensive. Oh yes, these are so expensive. Okay, the one with the house is like 265 which is quite okay. I wanted to add two of those like that just to add some coziness to it in the same color as the house is outside to bring the outside back in. Now adding some paintings and it's gonna be daylight soon. We're actually so lucky with that. I hate how the roof looks guys <laughs> and it's quite dark in here, but oh well. So what I might do is actually paint the underside of the roof in like dark stone gray so that it doesn't stand out as much even though then we'll have a really dark ceiling which I'm not a fan of, but I don't think there's much else we can do. But to be honest, I'm quite proud with what we did with only 13k and I feel like if people started with this house it would be a lot more fun to like add to it because it's all squares and, and rectangles so you can easily add to that. So let's head to the tour. Now I didn't paint my mailbox but the mailbox would be the normal color it just it's from a different house so I'm not gonna spend money on that. We went $900 over budget which was expected of course but it's thanks to the trees of course. <laughs> Going into my own take on the starter house, we have the front door on the side. I didn't want to have it like facing the street for some reason. So going inside, we have our living room. I'm actually so glad that I added these dining tables over here or there's dining chairs because now you don't have to eat in the sofa all the time. This is your living room with a nice view of the hills. And then right here we have your kitchen. Very basic, not a lot of stuff in here, but at least you have cabinets to put stuff in and, and stuff like that. If you are cooking, you can look outside through these windows. Then moving on to the hallway and in the hallway we have just a desk area but there's nothing really on it. You can fake doing your <laughs> taxes <laughs> on here. You also have a nice view of like the trees and maybe your neighbors if you want to spy on them. Then in here we have the bathroom with of course a window as well. We didn't paint the sink and we didn't add a mirror. Oh my god, that still has to happen. But it's okay, it's usable. With a toilet and a shower of course. And then in here we have the bedroom with the double bed and of course a massive window over here. And then your clothing rack just so that you can like change your clothes. But I'm actually so mad at myself for not adding a mirror to the bathroom. But yeah, this is the house. I'll show it again in build mode if you want to copy it. It is quite cheap to do. And I used game passes, I think, to make the kitchen connect to the wall over here. But other than that, I don't think you need any game passes for it. So top view, this is four blocks wide. This is three blocks wide and three blocks and four blocks. Going into the bedroom, we have a four blocks going this way, four blocks going this way and three blocks going this way. The bathroom is a two by three. And then same with the hallway, the hallway is a 2 by 3 as well. And going out of build mode, if I check the value of my house, it is $11,517. Now if I go to the normal starter house, that one has a value of 7300 So the value ups by 4000 which is quite sad. But I do feel like my house is a little bit nicer to play in, even though I made it myself. So it's, I'm probably just gonna like it more. But yeah, let me know what you think of the house in the comments. It's not the best house I ever done, of course, because I was on a strict budget and I crossed it so <laughs> there's that but that was it for today guys thank you so much for watching hit that like button and please subscribe